Now, in its third year, it is time for the Paint It Paint Challenge, where die-cast builders everywhere do custom builds that are either pink or feature pink to help raise awareness of breast cancer. Don't go away. Hello everyone and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. Today's build is my entry for this year's Paint It Paint Challenge, brought to you by the Three Blind Mice. I have participated all three years now, and as always, I will be auctioning off my build on eBay to raise money for Susan G. Komen of Nevada. This year is going to be extra special. In my first two years, my builds and the gift baskets they come in have raised almost $500 to fight this horrible, horrible cancer. And this year, I'm hoping to set a personal record with this auction. I'll give you the auction details at the end of the video, but for now, let's get to work. This, my friends, is a Poison Pinto. It is actually one of my favorite castings. I love this thing, and I recently did a Poison Pinto for you all. Well, while I was doing that, I had the idea of taking this one and making what I was going to call a purple Pinto. I thought it could be a lot of fun. Well, as I was thinking about ideas for the Paint It Pink Challenge, the notion of taking the purple Pinto and transforming it into a pink Pinto came to life, and, well, here we are. So, anyhow, even though you've seen me do a Poison Pinto recently, we're going to do another one today, but it's going to be the Pink Pinto. So, as always, uh, we're going to start by taking this car apart, and I don't know if I've ever mentioned this or not, but I'm going to tell you right now, I hate plastic-based cars. They're really difficult to get apart, okay? You got to get that post really drilled down properly, uh, and even then, sometimes, you know, you're, they're bending and they're flexing. I, I hate plastic-based cars, but I do love the Poison Pinto, and I think this is going to come out pretty cool. Yes, indeed he do. The struggle is real. Trying to pop this sucker apart. Man, I hate plastic bases. Did I, did I tell you that yet? If not, allow me to say it right now. I hate plastic bases. But I finally come out on top, and I get this thing apart. Okay, so this is a drag car. It's, you know, supposed to be a race car, and we're going to keep it that way. We're just going to make it look, well... Cool. So as bad as it looks, it's all complete. The glass is solid, the interior is solid, the body is solid. Replacing the wheels, no big deal. So, you know, hey, everything is working out so far. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the post prepped. We're going to clean up the end of it. We're going to drill it, tap it, and get it ready for a screw. The Poison Pinto only has the one post up in the front, and the back is held on by a tab. And also the interior kind of has a tricky way to hook in. So if you're doing one of these, once you get the base off, what you have to do is you have to lift up the back 
so that you can slide the interior back a little bit. This will free the grill from the front of the car and then you can lift it all out. But be careful because that grill is between the post and the opening for the grill. So if you're not careful, you actually can break the grill on that's molded into the interior. So it's a, it's a little bit tricky. Just pay attention to what you're doing and you'll be fine. All right, of course, as always, it's time for the warm liquid goo. It's not a lot of paint to strip off, but hey, it's gonna take the bath anyhow. Okay, so with the body out of the goo, washed, dried, I'm going to take it over to the paint booth. And we're going to start out by giving this car a coat of white Tamiya Fine Primer. Now, I'm using the white because this is going to be a pink car, and I really want that pink to pop. So the white base should really help make the color more vibrant. So with the primer dry, I can go ahead and start to lay down a nice coat of Tamiya X17 Pink Paint. And again, as I always do, I'm going to lay this down, starting with a tack coat, then some medium coats, and then finally some wet coats. At the end of this video, I'm going to put up pictures of all three builds I've done for the Paint It Pink Challenge over the last three years. These are some of my favorite builds. I really love them. And like I said, it, it really breaks my heart to auction these away. But I know that it's a, a good cause. And uh, even though I'm sad about auctioning them away, after I do, I am filled with this warmth and happiness that, that's just unrivaled. So... Uh, yeah, I, I hope whoever gets it really, really loves it. Okay, so the thing that I needed here was the decals. I really needed these to work out. And what I did is in Adobe Illustrator, I worked off of the original logo and I made my own version of it. And it is the pink pinto logo it's got the pink ribbon in the background and using the same font it says pink pinto i made it fit properly and it's going to look fantastic so after i did the artwork i went ahead and i printed these out on my uh color laser printer using the ghost white toner i made some white underlays and i put those down first and let them dry that will help make sure that the alignment is right and that these decals will really just pop, okay? Because they're crucial to this build. They have to work. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just putting the second decal on over the white base layer and just making sure that it's aligned perfectly. And then I'll repeat on the other side. Man, are the decals looking great. I'm so happy. 
once they're completely completely dry I will seal this all up using some clear coat from Bright Vision and then we can go ahead and start talking about putting this car together. Okay, so here's all my parts. My windshield was dipped in gauzy. My interior was painted white except for the engine and the bumper. And the base was painted flat black except again for the bumper which was treated with Molotov Chrome. Remove the screw from it and now we can go ahead and put this all back together. Now on a lot of diecast cars you can simply just drop the glass in and then put the interior in. Well you can't do it on this car, okay? You have to marry the glass to the interior then you insert that as one unit into the car. And again, you have to work around the post and slide the front grill up into its slot. It's a little tricky, but nothing you can't handle. All right, we've got the interior and glass in, and now we can go ahead and put the, the base on with the new drag wheels, and we'll screw this thing together, and we can finally get a look at my pink Pinto. Well, there it is, and I love it. I love it so much, I may have to make another one for me to keep. I hope you love it too. Let's take a look and see what we did. Well, there you have it, my Paint It Pink Pinto. I love this car, and it breaks my heart to auction it off. But sometimes in life, the right thing to do is easy to see when it is laid out before you. So, to auction it is. If you want to own this Fat Guy Custom, and the amazingly fun gift basket it will come in along with this great custom sent to me to auction off by Robin Hodgson, all you have to do is follow the link in the description to get to the auction site. My auction will run for seven days and 100% of the proceeds will go to Susan G. Komen of Nevada. Please, bid with your heart. Bid like someone's life depends on it, because it does. I want to thank all the bidders, win or lose, and I also want to thank all the builders who have made castings to support this wonderful event. Please do your part and check out the other builders' videos. I hope you loved my video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to monkey stomp the notification bell so you never miss one of my diecast videos. As always, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. Well, that should do it for today. Just never forget that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Until next time, this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions saying be good.